This tutorial is going to deal with the installation and configuration of our iPhone and iPad app, uh, the compatibility for which we've listed in the upper right hand corner of this video at the beginning. So we're going to go to the App Store and we're going to type in Vitek. And our first result is going to be the Vitek EH Series DVR Viewer. And that's a free app that we're going to go ahead and install right now. Uh, we're going to actually do this in real time and let the entire app install uh, during the course of this video so that you can see sort of the time frame. Uh, it's a very lightweight app. It'll only take a few seconds for us to get it completely installed and ready to configure. And there we go. So now that it's complete, we can go ahead and click on it. We're gonna flip our screen up on the side so that we can add a DVR to the list with this little add button in the upper right hand corner of the interface. Now, first off, it's gonna ask for a server name. That's just whatever you wanna call the DVR. If you have multiple uh, DVRs configured, then just name it for the location um, or model. So we have IP and ports, and that's going to be either the static external IP of the DVR, or we can use a dvrlink.net DDNS service address, such as we're doing here. Then we're going to go ahead and use our web port or HTTP port. Uh, by default, that's going to be 8080 on these units and then our real-time streaming port, which by default is 554 on these units. Then we move down to ID and password, and the ID and password is asking for are the ID and passwords to access the DVR, and so in this case by default it's all caps admin, has to be all caps, and then 1234, and allow auto logon to be enabled, and then we can save those settings and exit out. So then we just click on Vitech Demo, and it will bring us up by default on a one channel view. And we've got an EH8, so we've got eight different channels we can look at, four at a time. So we'll go ahead and look at one, two, three, and four. And then we can switch over over to five, six, seven, and eight. And the free version of this app basically just allows you to view. Uh, there will be a paid version coming out later with PTZ controls. And so that's it. That's the configuration of the iPhone and iPad app. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to uh, put them below. Thanks.